June 9, 1944. Allied troops in Normandy have moved inland. The work of the U.S. Navy and Coast Guard and the combined Allied sea forces has been done. Work not without a price in men and materiel. began many months earlier. In Chesapeake Bay and other sections of the American coast, untested sailors and soldiers learned the task of getting from ship to shore. But that time, the shore was a friendly one. with part of their training finished, they left the United States. Late in the winter and all through the spring, the great convoys moved eastward across the Atlantic. Aboard all the transports, life was the same. The troops relaxed and waited for the voyage to end. the coasts of Great Britain that spring, the training went on. Navy and Coast Guard landing barges practiced landing operations day and night. Meanwhile, the larger landing craft LSTs and LCIs carried on their maneuvers, learning to land at a given spot at a certain time. of preparation, Allied planes, thousands of them, continued to soften enemy defenses and communications in daily raids. <laughs> Off the southern coast of England, Thousands of ships from all allied nations are preparing for the invasion signal. Navy and Coast Guard crews make last minute preparations. When the K-rations come aboard, everyone knows that D-Day is drawing near. Somewhere in southern England, troops embark on LCVPs to be ferried to the waiting transports offshore.
June 5th. The LCIs are loaded. The next time these men step ashore will be on an enemy beach. There's only a little time left to relax. And the bombing attacks of the Air Force are intensified. Now the raids are continuous. At ports of embarkation, the troops prepare themselves for their greatest battle. officer briefs his men, and all along the coast, sailors receive their final instructions. At last, the ships leave the coastal waters and move out into the channel. The slow LSTs loaded with heavy equipment, the transports loaded with men. Fast warships screen the mighty invasion fleet from enemy raiders. At 1530, a Coast Guard flotilla of LCIs leaves, loaded with engineers, medical corpsmen, and infantry. D-Day approaches, and the ships are in their assigned positions. For some of them, like the Coast Guard manned transport chase, it is the fourth invasion in European waters. The only planes overhead are friendly. From the 83-foot Coast Guard rescue boats to the Navy's powerful battle wagons, the invasion fleet is moving towards France. And below decks, officers study the maps that mark the invasion beachheads on the coast of Normandy. <laughs> 